Okay, when we're talking about our CO2 cars, the, the first thing that we need to do is we need to start by um, brainstorming, brainstorming some ideas. Internet is always an awesome way to look at it. I, if you're in class, I have a bunch of examples of past cars that we can look at that uh, students never took home. And so to start with, we're asked to draw thumbnail drawings. So thumbnail drawings are just simple sketches that are about the size of a thumbnail, bigger. I'm not too picky on that, just that you have some ideas, some different ideas. And it can be completely out of the norm of what you'd see. The, the crazier, the, the better. And I often find that some of the best designs will resemble things from, uh, from real life. So try to think of things that are aerodynamic, things that go quickly through the air. Um, a common one that comes up is an arrow. So maybe I'll start with just an arrowhead shape and I'll sketch out some ideas like that. So that would be kind of a, a cool design would be have it look like like an arrow. And don't worry if you're not the best at, uh, at art class or drawing. Um, maybe the back of it could look something like this, but um, it really just comes down to that uh, practice makes perfect and you'll you'll get better as you go. Um, now I do see one issue with this type of a design but at this point we're going to not worry so much about that um, about the rules. So the issue would be that wherever the axles are the vehicle needs to be a certain width. So we look at our rules always good idea to have your rule sheet handy that I've handed out and I've put asterisks by the ones that are most important. Okay, so I'm gonna get you guys to go through and do that. Try to draw at least eight different thumbnail ideas. Uh, one that I've been trying to work on, <clears throat> we have to keep in mind that we have that chamber at the back, um, but one that I would like to do is similar to one that I've done in the past, but I'd like to keep everything fairly flat. So more like a, a shape, like like so, flat and thin. Something like that, and then maybe even hollow it out a bit, or so on. And then we'd have our wheels there, and our back wheels over here. Um, maybe something a little bit more aerodynamic, same type of idea. And then I would just simply hollow out from underneath. So underneath then, hollow out to this whole area that I could, except for where that cartridge is, right? So the cartridge would go there, so I'd hollow out everything that I possibly could on the inside. Okay. Uh, personally, I, I kind of like this idea. It would be kind of nice too, maybe to try one where the same type of idea, but it slopes a bit more at the front. And then and you, when you're sketching these thumbnail drawings, they don't have to be the whole car either. They can just be parts of the car. So there's the like the front, it would actually slope. Or maybe to give it a little more of a profile, lose a little weight, we could um, kind of give it a wavy shape. Another thing that could happen is that maybe we have kind of a triangular shape to the body. Really thin, narrow triangles often have a little bit more strength to them. And then drawing that out wider at the front is where that axle is. And then back again. So it's similar to one that I, I did on the start. So you're gonna do eight different thumbnails now. When you're doing your, your front and top and side view, which is the next one, uh, what would you see looking straight down over top? What would you see looking at it straight from the side? Um, and you're going to choose three of your favorite thumbnail drawings to do that with. So I'm just going to pick one here that I really liked was the, the flat design. Now you could sketch it up in the top as a thumbnail. You don't have to as a 3D little sketch. Um, completely your choice. 
but just for your purposes, I will sketch that just to try and make that a little bit more clear of what my, my plan is with this. Okay. So looking straight down over, actually, I'm going to start with my side view. Side views often are a little easier to get done. So I'm going to start by drawing and here again, we don't have to use a ruler. You can, if it makes it easier for you, there's something called a French curve that I have at school and it's part of a drafting set. Um, if you don't have one of that, you can use anything that's got different curves on it to sort of use as a template to trace if you have like a spirograph or, or anything like that. So I guess first off, I'm getting a little bit crooked here and that's okay to make some mistakes and try fix them. So I'm just gonna go up, up, and then my chamber would look like that. Now, that's really all I would see from the side view. If I wanted to, I could put some hidden lines in. If I plan to hollow this out, I could put some hidden lines in there, but I don't have to, okay? All right, so the next thing then that I'm gonna do is I'm going to, well, and I should probably put where my axles are going to go on this car, okay? So then next thing I'm gonna do, or you could draw your wheels. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the top view. So a good idea with this is just simply, if you, if you were doing like I did back in high school, where we did manual drafting, is all these lines would actually just transfer straight up. So the length of the car, everything else. You don't have to, because um, this is a sketch, it's not a draft, but um, it's just a simple way of doing this. So all those lines, if I wanted to know how long that chamber area was, I transfer that up as well. And then I'm going to simply start to draw the car. So first off, I'm gonna, maybe I'll make it a little bit narrower in the middle of the car. So we can come in to a point and then out wide again, and then back to a point. Okay, and then back. So this is a really common shape for a car, uh, but you can see that by having the, um, the side view that it's not that generic shape on the side view. So right there, there again, transferring my location of my axles up would be right about there. There's my front wheels. And then location of my back axle would be approximately right there. And there's my back wheels. But there again, you don't have to draw your, your back wheels. So you're going to do that with three different designs. Um, and then mine, since I have that hollowed out, I'm going to draw in my hollowed out area. And I actually want to make this as big as possible, make it as light as possible. Like so, so that's what I would see. This part, of course, is all gone, so I'm just gonna shade that in so that that's more clear what that is. And that's the current design that I have in my head. If I wanted to, I could even hollow out this front part and get rid of that as well. Okay. All right, next thing then, once we have this idea that we're going to stick with. We've done, done three top and side view drawings. Then we're going to take those ideas and we're going to start to draw our actual template. So I'm just going to set this to the side where I can still see it. I'm going to make sure I can still see my uh, rules because we need to follow. So for example, dragster body. Now we had this kind of idea in our head to start with of what we were dealing with. But um, now we're gonna actually start to measure it. So try to find a ruler with centimeters on it because that's what we're gonna be using for this. And um, you'll see that on your template, this is drawn to pretty much the same size as the block of wood. I'm just gonna quickly run and uh, see if I can find one just to show you. So 
So I, I, I'm currently out of all the ones that uh, have been done, but this is one that didn't quite get finished. Let's see if I can just move this a bit back so you can see that. And then we set that over top. Everything matches up with those lines. Okay. You see even that the cartridge hole matches up. So everything's matching up. All right. So next thing then that we're going to do is we're going to start to draw out our, our car. You see that the bottom of the block is right here, and we don't want to cut away any of that wherever the axles are. So probably one of the first things I want to do is I want to mark out where the axles go. So the rules state that the axles need to be somewhere between, um, so position above body bottom between three and a half millimeters and nine millimeters. So three and a half millimeters from the bottom up to nine. And I believe that this right here is at nine, this dotted line. Yes, so it is nine. So that's the maximum that we can have our axle at. Now the higher that you have your axle up on the block, the lower it's gonna to sit to the ground. So it's probably gonna be a little bit more aerodynamic and have less drag. So if that is the case, that's where I wanna have my, my axle centered on. Um, now, how far from the end of the body? Well, it's a, if you look at your rules again, and it says axle hole position from either end of the body is a minimum of nine millimeters and a maximum of 100 millimeters. So you wanna keep in mind that you want it to be fairly balanced. Since I am gonna have a lot of weight at the back end, once you add that chamber into there, I'm gonna put my axle a little bit further back. So I don't want it doing some wheelies. So the next thing then I'm gonna mark is I'm gonna put it at um, 15 millimeters. So 1.5 centimeters. And I'm just simply going to make a crosshairs or an X where I want that axle hole to be drilled. So we wanna know where the center of the hole is. Now the length of my car is the next thing I wanna do because I don't know where the front of the car is gonna end. I don't want this to be the full length. And I, just for weight wise, I want it to be as short as possible. So the shortest length that it can be according to the rules is 200 millimeters, 20 centimeters. So I'm gonna measure a line in the back of my ruler up um, right there with the back of the block, zero at the back of the block, and I'm gonna mark out 20 centimeters. Okay, so line that up and mark 20. And then just to be sure that I'm getting that in the right spot, remember I, how I showed you that we are going to transfer these measurements up? Well, I'm going to mark it on the top view as well at 20 centimeters because that also needs to be the same. And then I'm just going to draw a light pencil line at those points. And then that should make sure that's nice and straight as well. So there's 20 millimeters. Now, if you're drawing everything as an exact, you need to be very careful that, um, I'm just gonna double check my measurements. Measure twice, cut once, right? So there and there, perfect. Um, you need to be careful that uh, with your cutting, always leave a little extra. Now, if you wanna be safe and make sure that your car doesn't end up to be too small, maybe you make it 205 millimeters just to be on that safe side. Okay, so the next part then that we're gonna need to do is um, we're gonna mark our ac front axle out. So our front axle then is going to be, hmm, I think I want that back just a little bit, a little bit more than the 1.5 because I don't want the wheel sticking out in front of the car. So I'm gonna go, I think, maybe let's try, let's try th three centimeters or 30 millimeters back. So where that crosses on that nine millimeter mark, that's where I'm gonna have that. Okay, there we go. Now it doesn't have to be at the same height. You could have the front axle up higher or lower than the back, depending on what you want with, uh, with your car. Um, maybe your back axle would be lower so that the front end would be lower down. Okay, it's completely your choice. 
Next thing that we're going to do is um, I'm going to measure out the height of my, my side view. So currently right now, because that's where my axle is, I can't cut anything away at that point. But between those points, I can cut it away. So I might want to do that just a little bit, or maybe I'll leave it the same. I, personally, I think I'm just going to leave it the same. I'm just trying to find my... Uh, French Sorry for the noise. It seems to be missing, so I'm just gonna have to hand sketch this for now. Or like I said, you can find something that is curved and use it to trace the curves out. Okay, um, I feel pretty confident with this, so I'm just gonna sketch it out. So I want the front end to be fairly pointed and flat to the ground. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up and I think right about there and we've got to keep in mind that the thickness of our axle is three millimeters so one and a half millimeters at least will be drilled out so okay that's getting pretty thin but i think i can do that so at that point right there then um that is 1.44 so let's go 14 millimeters i guess for the height of my body all the way along going to make a couple marks at 1.4 and then I'm going to draw a straight line using my ruler across. I'm drawing pencil marks really light just because then it's easier to um, erase later on if need be. Hopefully you can see that. Um, next up, the other thing I want to be careful of is the CO2 chamber needs to have at least three millimeters of wood all the way around it. You can't be within that. That's a safety feature so that if the cartridge were to puncture through and go flying, that could be a, a, a safety hazard. So I'm actually gonna mark out five millimeters because I don't wanna accidentally get too close to that. So I'm gonna allow for five millimeters around it, even though the rules say five, uh, three. So I'm gonna make a box that's five millimeters or half a centimeter all the way around that chamber uh, outline. And that's, uh, that's where I have to stay outside of. Okay, so the other thing is that maybe my lines are a little bit crooked, maybe my marks are a little off. So by doing five millimeters, it's giving me a little bit of a tolerance, it's called, or a little bit of a room for error on this. So that is where that's going to go. Now I do want to make sure when I'm done my sketch that I'm going to erase these lines because I don't want to actually cut that out on the on the uh, bandsaw. So now I'm going to make this come to, I feel like making this to a point. So I'm going to have this come to a point like a bullet sort of there, like so. And then I'm going to erase that line like I said, if you weren't going to actually cut there, then you'd want to erase that um, before you cut out your piece of wood. But mine, you know what? This is so close to the height of my body here. I might have to actually swoop this down just a bit just to give it kind of a cool shape to it and also remove some of that weight. And then I'm gonna swoop up again like so. And so there's my design so far. Um, and then I'm going to, so right here is where my axle is. I'm gonna swoop up there, make this even thinner. I'm gonna swoop up right here. I'm gonna connect those two together. a little dull there we go so there's my my side view actually is completed now next thing I need to do is I need to transfer up some of these important points so the distance from the point of my um, bullet shape here is 79 millimeters so up here I'm going to draw that out as well you'll notice that your top view has a center line drawn across it and it says fold on this line when you cut out the pattern. 
we're gonna try to have this vehicle and for most vehicles unless it's a, a purposeful design uh, feature we want it to be symmetrical so we want it to be even on both sides um, the same on both sides so what we're going to do is we're actually going to only draw this out on half of the car and then we're going to fold that over when we cut this this out and then when we cut it out it's going to be kind of like making a snowflake where it's perfectly even on both sides so this really won't take too long so there again i'm going to mark out five millimeters from the cartridge on the top i'm going to mark out five millimeters again back here and then i'm going to draw my pencil line across And then I'm going to connect that to make that bullet shape again. So right there, there is the shape of the, the side right there. Now where my axles are at, right here, that was uh, 15 millimeters. Now why is that important? Because where our axles are, so I'm just going to make a little mark right there. Um, where our axles are, our vehicle has to be our car has to be at least 35 millimeters wide. So 35 millimeters from the center, half of 35 would be 17 and a half. So we have to have it at least 17 and a half millimeters wide. And you'll see that that really doesn't allow you to cut off much for the width at the axis. Anywhere else you can cut it as narrow as you want, keeping in mind that if it breaks while you're racing, you're disqualified. And even if you win, you'll be done for the rest of the tournament. So I'm just going to, at the axle, make it a straight line, um, but I could go in, I could do whatever I wanted here. And then I'm gonna follow this same pattern just a little bit and sneak in, make it a little narrower. I don't wanna make this exactly the same. It's looking a little bit similar to one that I already have. Um, and then maybe I'll pause right there and I'm gonna go back to the top and make this into a point. Keeping in mind, I don't wanna to go too wide and my axle was three, mil three centimeters, three, 30 millimeters at this point. So right there, that's where my axle was. I'm gonna go 17 and a half there again because I want it as narrow as possible. So right there, that's my my point where it has to be. Um, and I'm gonna draw my my point. So that's the shape of the the front end, and then I'm going to um, just gonna gently curve it back in again, and because I want it to be the same back here, that's nine millimeters in. So I'm gonna go nine millimeters make a little pencil mark perfect I'm gonna draw that line together and that's it now if I do want to hollow this out I need to show that as well so I'm going to I don't want to hollow it out where the axle is um, or at least I have to have enough material that I can screw a, a screw eye in at the bottom so at the bottom of the car there needs to be a little screw eye at the front and at the back for our fish line to go through. And that's what steers the car and keeps it going straight. So I need to leave a little bit, maybe at the front, I think. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave a little bit at the front and I'm gonna hollow this out, the rest of this all completely out. Like, like so. So that right there is my final drawing. And then I take and I cut the side view out first. I tape that straight onto my block, just like this one had. And then I'm gonna drill my axle holes first. So I drill the axle holes all the way through using the drill press and an 11 64ths twist bit. And then We'll cut out our side view using the bandsaw or the scroll saw. After the side view is done, we take the paper off if we want, and then we're gonna tape, cut out and tape our top view on. 
And after that, then we just simply sand it up, paint it, and we're done. I hope that was helpful.